I decided to undertake this commission to create a um, energy efficient light installation for Greenpeace at 100% design because it um, underlines my passion for intelligent design and using low energy efficient products, lighting and the materials in the kind of installations and designs we're, we're creating all the time. The idea, the installation, um, we came up with this electronic garden, the metaphor of the kind of decorative flower bed. We're creating this island of wood. It's made from a special sustainable and recycled wood. Only two shapes that make up this kind of special jigsaw puzzle. But by sort of infinite kind of arrangements, we can create this kind of more complex organic looking shape. And that's what you see being assembled on site today. actually planting these CFL bulbs as a kind of garden that you can actually interact with, walk through, engage with and kind of and play with. We're using something called the CFL, which is a compact fluorescent light bulb. It uses about a fifth of the uh, power of a normal incandescent bulb. So that is really fantastic, obviously, you know, reduce the amount of power that you use in your home if you use a CFL instead of an incandescent. But the, the issue here is that you've never been able to get a dimmable CFL. Now there's a company that's produced these uh, dimmer dimmable CFLs, which means plug it straight into any old fitting with a dimmer attached to it, you can dim it like you would a normal incandescent, which is amazing. It's pretty much groundbreaking, especially in Europe. One of the clever aspects of this project is to, is to sort of demystify it, is to say, you know, there's a certain number of kind of basic complaints that people have about them there's not a nice light or that their bulbs are not pretty or that you know that they're not dimmable or you can't control them and I think this is a kind of uh, you know fun and innovative way of, of disbanding those myths in itself basically that if people come here and kind of interact with with the piece they're going to see that the bulbs are quite aesthetically pleasing uh, that there's a lot of potential for, for different kind of like levels of lighting with them what we're trying to do is rather than just some talking to people or writing to people in a kind of traditional way provide something that they can feel more that they can see in action. The electronic garden has a series of hot spots, as it were, where people can actually interact with the garden. So it blooms, um, it, the, the light ripples through it as people approach these points. Now, they're sensitive to someone approaching them. You kind of, your hand can hover above this kind of hot spot and that creates, you complete the circuit and you basically create a kind of um, an interaction with the piece. It's to make people aware of their action is actually making a kind of difference. to create something uh, which would really demonstrate to designers that you can have beautiful aesthetics and beautiful design and link that with uh, a low carbon or sustainable agenda. And so we were having conversation with Greenpeace about getting involved with the, with the show and we, we basically brought these two groups together and uh, you know, the result has been this, this feature here. And we'd originally scheduled to put this in, in the middle of the exhibition we thought, it was, we thought it was such an impressive piece and so groundbreaking that we had to bring it right to the front. So uh, we're really glad uh, that we put it here right at the front today. Mm -hmm.